This is the Iron Trader, and this is Midday Trading. Today, we're going to take a look here at gold and silver. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, commodity, ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have gold on a daily chart. All right, now you can see where gold topped out here at 2.2085. 2 okay, came on down sideways, hit the bottom, and then this candle right here. The low was basically 1900 okay? Then what we did is you retested that low right there and held it at 1908 Then it ran up real nicely, holding the 8-day all the way up, came down, but held that 21-day, and then zoomed right back up. Now, today so far, we have what they call as an inside day. So what you want to do is we want to watch the top of yesterday's candle, which is 2022. Now, if you can get above that, then we just keep looking here to the left here to see where she's all going to go. So you got 2027 here. Then we looked at the bottom of this candle here. You got uh, uh, 2028. You have uh, 2047. We have 2066. We have uh, 2061 there. And then what we do is we just Crank this all the way up here to your big retest here at 2,085. Okay, so that is your upside. Now, on your downside here, you want to watch this key 8 SMA here. Okay, this is going to be very key support here, sitting at 1974. And then right below it, we have your 100 SMA here, sitting at 1972. And then we come down to your 50 SMA here. Uh, let me see, we're sitting here at 1958 and then your 21 day here sitting at uh, 1954 but if you look at this your 8 SMA here is now above your 21 above your uh, 50 and your 100 day and look how nice this 21 day is curling over if it can curl above this key 50 SMA here that's a very very bullish sign and would push this much higher so uh, what you want to watch is the top of this candle here okay 2022 and then watch the bottom which is 1981 Right now, inside day, watch that. And if that is lost, we know where she's going on the bottom. If that is gained, a close above that, then we can rally all the way up, possibly a retest here of 2085. So let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly chart. Okay, here on your weekly chart here, this is looking very, very good. Your RSI, you got plenty of room to run here. Your MACD here, you got plenty of room to run. If it can curl right back up over again, that is going to always be a bullish sign here. Uh, and then what we want to do here is on the downside, you want to watch this key 21 SMA here. Uh, 1975, and then we look to 1857 is your 8 SMA. You'll look at notice that today that it did hold it real nicely. Okay, so what you want to do then is just obviously you want to look to the top of this candle, 2022, and then just keep going to the left here, uh, 2027 here, um, let me see, 2056, and then your big retest here. 2085 so you can look to the left of the chart here you can see where it hit a high here and then you retested it but that right there is your double top and then it fell right on down however now it looks pretty good if you can break above this key and hold that uh, key 2085 then your next target here we looked at a monthly which would be 2089 now on your monthly chart here you can see where it went up and then a lower high and then uh, try to retest this all the way on up here, but it just couldn't do it. Now, let's see if it can do it on this end. If it can break 2085, then you got 2089 just right above that. If it can get it up, then you're, you're going to hit the 3000 mark very, very easily. So on your uh, monthly chart here, you want to watch this 1937. That's going to be very, very key support. Your ways up there, very, very nice pattern right here going on here. So if you can break above, this key, uh, 2089, then she's going to be really ripping much, much, much higher. Now, the way I trade uh, uh, gold is with uh, ETF GLD, and with silver, I go SLD. All right, let's take a look here, silver. All right, here we are, silver, your daily chart. Okay, so pretty much the uh, same kind of thing here. Let's just stretch out a little bit, make her nice and clear for you. So you pretty much topped out here at 2643. Uh, and try to regain it nothing here but now look at here okay so what we have here is your good resistance here is going to be this 8 sma here this is sitting at 24.79 if you can get above then what we do is just follow these candles right up there so you got 
2467 there. We have uh, 2532, and then you have a nice retest up there sitting here at uh, 2547. Now, again, if you can get above that, then here's your target here at 2643. Now, on the downside, you want to hold this key 21 SMA here. You're sitting at uh, 2420, and then right below that, we have your 100 SMA at 2397, and then we have 2380 here, your 50 day, and then you could come down to uh, 2294. Your retest here is 2248, and then your absolute right here, a retest of this lumber is 2214. Uh, but right now, you're looking pretty good here. Um, here on your daily chart here, you just have to watch two key levels. Watch this 21 day on the downside and watch that 8 SMA here on the upside. So let's take a look here on a weekly and on a month. Okay, your weekly chart here, uh, you're looking, you know, pretty good here. You know what I'm saying? What you got here is you got a low, you got a higher low, and now you got another higher low here. So what we want to do is watch this key. Uh, your 8 and 21 are pretty much synced right together right here. So you're sitting around 2405 and you're uh, 2398. So you're pretty much right there. That is going to be your key support levels there, okay? Uh, and your key resistance level here is going to be this 2643. If you can get above, then there's your target right there at 2749. Always look to the left of the chart because where it's been is usually where she's going. All right, now if we can get above that there, there 2749, then we come to this next level right here, okay? So what you want to do is you want to look at this candle here. So you're looking at uh, 2673, and then what you're looking here at your 2749, and then you have your big retest here of 3035. Now close above this, well, then you, you're going to be going up towards the 40 area very, very quickly. On the downside here, you want to watch this 8 SMA. Here, sitting at 2371, and then we have 2243, and then we have your 50 SMA here, sitting at uh, 2191, and then 2024 here. So you got a lot of really good support here on your monthly chart. You have a lot of good support here on your weekly chart here. The key is going to go, if you're long, is you want to close above this key, 2643, and then we want to go up to this uh, 2748. Because if you look at uh, the high here, and you look at the high here, that was a double top, and then she came on down. So if you can break that, then she goes higher. All right. Thanks for watching.